Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's good to see you guys again. We're here to have another quick chat about my trip to San Francisco, California. So my first question is, do you guys have any questions about my trip? Do you guys have any questions about my trip? Okay, so when you get to class today, there are three questions that I'd like you to answer. Okay, first, what is your name? Second, what country are you from? And the third one is, do you have any questions? Oh, let me type that correctly. Questions about my trip. Okay, so those are the three questions for today. One, what is your name? Two, what country are you from? And three, do you have any questions about my trip? Okay, so you guys take your time, introduce yourselves, and I'll introduce myself to you while you guys are typing. So some of you might not have been to one of these classes before. My name is Patricia. I'm from Ivy League English, and I am from the United States. I was born in New York. I live in Connecticut, but this week I'm traveling. So I'm visiting California, which is another state in the United States. And the city in California that I'm visiting is called San Francisco. So Luis, hey, welcome. Good to see you again, Luis. So I know there are other people there. You guys know I can see you. There are six people here. So make sure you introduce yourselves. Tell me your name so that I can talk to you. Tell me what country you're from so that I know where you're from. And also let me know if you have any questions about my trip. Okay, so some of you guys who have been paying attention to my Facebook page, you guys know that I've been in California since last Saturday. And I've been trying to do some interesting things so that I can show you guys something new while I'm in California. So this week, I've done a couple of interesting things. And the first one I want to tell you about some of you guys already figured out from the picture. I went to a museum yesterday and I took some pictures to show you guys, but I didn't tell you what kind of museum it was. Sagar, hello, welcome, good to see you. So yesterday I went to that museum and I bought this. Now it's so cute. Um, you can see I actually, I ate a little bit of it, I ate the leg. But my question for you is, what is this? What animal is this? Can you guess what animal this is shaped like? I know you guys know this animal. It's missing a leg, but you can still tell what animal it is. So what animal is this? Okay, you guys tell me that. But I'll tell you what this is made out of. This is actually bread. Okay, so yesterday I went to a bread museum. And for some people that might sound a little bit strange, a museum about bread. I mean, you know, bread is not that special. A lot of people eat bread every day. But I actually bake a lot at home. I love baking. And one of the things that I love baking is bread. So there's a lot of science behind bread and how bread bakes and how to make the best bread. It's all about science. And I think that's very interesting. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy baking so much and I enjoy making bread because there's a lot of science involved and I love science. So I went to the museum because I thought it was really interesting to learn more about bread and how it's made. And one interesting thing that I learned, oh, someone is here, Ignatius. Hello, Ignatius, welcome. And you're from Namibia, awesome. I think this is your first time at one of my classes, so welcome to my class. And tell us about your tri the trip. Well, yes, I'm telling you about the Bread Museum. So one thing I learned in the Bread Museum is that in San Francisco, 
There is a special type of bacteria in the air, okay? And I'm going to type that word in, bacteria. Bacteria is, a, is an advanced word. I'll explain what bacteria is. Bacteria is a living thing. Bacteria is alive, okay? But it's small. It's really, really small. It's so small that you can't even see it with your eyes. You need something special like a microscope to be able to see bacteria, okay? So bacteria is in the air all around us. And there's a special bacteria that only lives in San Francisco. San Francisco is the only place where you'll find this bacteria. It's actually named after San Francisco. I don't remember the name because it was really, really, really long, you know, how they do in science. So I don't remember what the name of the bacteria is, but it only lives here in San Francisco. And hey, Salar, welcome to class. And the bacteria in the air actually affects how the bread tastes, okay? So the bacteria in the air while the bread is rising and while the bread is in contact with the air, the air changes how the bread tastes. So one thing I learned is that the bread that's made in San Francisco using this old method that is affected by the bacteria has a very special flavor. And if you get bread anywhere else in the world, it does not taste like this bread made with this bacteria that only grows in San Francisco. I thought that was pretty interesting. I had never heard of that before. So I went to this museum and I learned a little bit about bread. Now, this animal over here. I don't think anybody guessed what animal this was yet. You guys didn't figure out what animal this is? I'll tell you in a minute if you can't figure it out. But first, let me check the comments. So Luis, um, how do I feel in San Francisco and what things do I like? Okay, good questions. I'll tell you about that. So how do I feel in San Francisco? Well, San Francisco is pretty awesome. It's a very, um, I would say, relaxed city. There are some cities that you visit and people are always moving quickly back and forth, back and forth, like New York City. New York City is not a relaxed city. New York City, everyone is always moving fast. Everyone is always in a rush. But San Francisco is very relaxed, very laid back. So I really like that about San Francisco, Luis. That's a good question. Um, what things do I like? Well, I have to say, of all the museums that I've visited, the Bread Museum was my favorite. Now, I love baking, so of course, the Bread Museum is very interesting for me. But I actually thought that was the best museum that I've been to so far, okay? Now, I might go to another museum later on this week, and maybe I'll like that one even better, but I'll let you know if that happens. So far, the Bread Museum is my favorite. And this little guy, just so you know, this is a turtle. This is a loaf of bread that is shaped like a turtle. So these are his little fins, and that's his head, and you can see there's a little pattern on his shell. So this is a turtle. They also have bread that's shaped like teddy bears. So you can buy a big teddy bear that's made out of bread. Or they also have a big crocodile, a crocodile. So um, it's very long. It has the long tail and the long mouth. And it's really awesome, the different animals and the different shapes that they can make out of bread. I thought that was pretty cool. All right. So, Luis, I hope that answers, answers your question. Jimmy, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Salar, bacteria comes from flies. Well, um, 
that's not where bacteria is born. That's not where bacteria starts, but flies can carry bacteria. Yes. So a fly might touch a surface that has bacteria and then the bacteria is on the fly. And then the fly goes somewhere else and lands on a chair and then the bacteria rubs off on the chair. So flies can move bacteria from place to place. That is true, Silar. Okay. Um, Jimmy, how is the where in there? How is the where? Do you mean the weather? Maybe you mean the weather, Jimmy. So the weather, that's a good question because I told you guys that San Francisco is actually kind of chilly. Um, you know, I wear jackets sometimes when I go outside, but for the last two days, it's actually been beautiful. It's been warmer than it was the first couple of days that I was here. So yesterday and the day before, I actually went outside with a, like a short sleeve shirt and I didn't need a jacket during the day. At night, you definitely need to put on a jacket. At night is when it really starts to get chilly. But during the day, it was really nice. It was maybe 70 degrees, maybe a little bit higher than that. 70 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> but yeah, the weather has been really nice. Okay, Jimmy, if that was your question, okay. And if that was not your question, then just let me know what you were asking. All right. Solara, yes, the bread was shaped like a turtle. Yeah, and Jimmy, I thought that was so cute. A matter of fact, there is a picture that I took of um, all of the different shapes of bread. And I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see. You might not be able to see it that clearly, but there is, hmm, let me see if I can get a better, better picture. Eh. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. There's a crocodile, there's a rabbit, um, there's a crab, there's a mouse. I mean, there are so many different animal shapes and other shapes that they can make with bread. It's really amazing. But the turtle was really cute. That's why I bought that one. <laughs> Irfan from Pakistan, good to see you. I haven't seen your name in a little while. And so Jimmy, weather, yes, that's what I thought you meant. Salar. Um, a crocodile is like a big lizard, exactly, okay? So yes, they make crocodiles out of bread. It's really cool. Um, let me see, maybe I have uh, one more picture. Oh yes, I do have another picture. All right, I'll show you guys. So these look like, mm, these look like little mice. Maybe you can see that. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but yeah, there are all kinds of shapes that they made. If you look on the Facebook page, you'll see some really good pictures of all the different animals that are made out of bread. Um, let's see, Luis. Um, I'm having a lot of funny here. Okay, Luis, funny is not the right word. What you mean is fun. I'm having a lot of fun here. All right. So remember, fun and funny don't mean the same thing. Funny means it makes you laugh. OK, fun means you're having a good time. You're enjoying yourself. All right. So I'm having a lot of fun here. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good time. That's what you mean. Um, Wahid, good to see you, Wahid. That name sounds new. If you're new here, welcome. So my accent is really nice and you want to copy the way I speak. Is it possible? Well, yeah, I mean, you could definitely practice talking the way I talk. I have a YouTube channel, so you could watch videos and listen to lots of um, videos where I'm talking. Now, um, will you ever sound exactly like me? No, probably not because Everybody sounds a little bit different when they speak English. Everybody has a little bit of an accent when, when they speak English. I have an accent because I'm from New York. I also have a little bit of an accent because my parents are from Jamaica, which is a different country. So the 
the English that I heard when I was a little kid was from people who are from a different country. So everything that we hear affects our accent. Whatever your first language was, that's going to affect your accent in English. Um, the, t the kinds of people that you hang out with, the kinds of people that you talk to in English, that's going to affect your accent also. So yes, you can try to sound like me. And there are lots of things about the way I talk that are a good example for you guys. But you don't have to copy everything about how I talk. There are some things about the way you talk that should be special and unique. So don't worry about sounding exactly like me or exactly like some other native speaker. You don't have to sound exactly like a native speaker. Just sound like yourself and try to learn the rules of English. Try to learn the grammar, try to build a good vocabulary, and then use English the way you want to use English. Okay? So, Wahid, I hope that helps you. Mary, hey, it's good to see you. Mary from Japan. And... Jimmy, Jimmy, you're from Taiwan. Awesome. A lot of my students are from Taiwan, Jimmy. Ruben, hello. How are you from Peru? Ruben, I think I've seen your name before, but I'm not sure. So if it's your first time here, welcome. And Ignatius, uh, it looks like rabbits. Wait, were you talking about this picture? This looks like rabbits? <laughs> <laughs> um, there definitely were some rabbits made out of bread at the museum that I went to yesterday, but uh, the one that I bought was not a rabbit. And the picture I showed you was not a rabbit. But if you look on the Facebook page, there is a rabbit in one of those pictures. Okay, so definitely check those pictures out, Ignatius. And Salar, um, I promised myself one day I will speak <laughs> you will speak English like me. Well, I hope one day that you can speak English as well as you would like. Um, do you have to sound like me? No, you don't have to sound like me. But if you want to, you can try to imitate some of the things that I say. Maybe there are certain phrases that I use that you really like. You can imitate those. You can copy those and try to use them yourself. Okay, so yes, you can definitely do that. Uh, Poppy, okay, hey Poppy, good to see you. And Jimmy has a question, has any, oh, have I had any special food on my trip? Hmm, that's a good question. So there are a few foods that San Francisco is known for. Um, there is a seafood dish called What's it called? Chopino? I think it's called Chopino. And I'm not 100% <laughs> sure how to spell it because I believe it's an, actually an Italian word. But I think it's spelled like this. And it's a lot of seafood. It's a stew, which is kind of like a soup, but it's a stew made from seafood. So it has crab mussels, things like that. That dish was originally created in San Francisco, and that is something that I'm going to try to have before I go home. That's the one dish I'm going to really try to have before I go home. Now, other things that I've had since I've been here, um, I've had good food since I've been here, but it's not anything special that I couldn't get at home. Like last night, I had Indian food. It was good, but, you know, I've also had Indian food at home. Um, I've also had some good seafood, not chopino, but some other types of seafood I've had. And they're, they've all been really good. The seafood in San Francisco is amazing. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And the last thing that I had that was really delicious was Italian food. I had ravioli that had lobster inside. And it was amazing. I mean, the sauce was awesome. My husband and I both thought it was probably the best tomato sauce that we've had ever. I can't think of a better tomato sauce that I've had. So I've had some really awesome food on this trip, Jimmy. Uh, bonjour, Sen. Hey, good to see you. 
Um, Irfan, am I traveling alone? Did I visit San Francisco alone? Good question. No, I am not alone. I'm actually here with my husband. My husband is here because he's working in San Francisco this week. So in the morning, he goes to the office, he goes to work. I teach classes early in the morning, like I already taught three classes today. And now I have a break. I don't have any more classes until the evening. So now I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna maybe go to a museum or do something else interesting. Hopefully I'll get to take some pictures or maybe I can make a live video while I'm out there so that I can show you guys. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. But my husband is here. He's just not hanging out with me during the day because he's at the office working. All right, good question, Irfan. Um, Salar, the bread, yes, some of the bread looks like a bear, like a teddy bear. I think that's what you're talking about. Manaira, hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> and let's see, who else? Salar, um, oh, bear or beer? Okay, good question. The animal is spelled B-E-A-R. That's the animal, B-E-A-R. The drink, the drink is B-E-E-R, pronounced beer, the drink, okay? So bear, the animal, B-E-A-R. Beer, the drink, B-E-E-R, all right? And let's see, any more comments, any more questions? If you guys have questions, make sure you ask before we finish up for today. Let's see. Oh, okay, Jimmy. Um, you don't like oysters. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Jimmy. Well, to be accurate, I don't like raw oysters. I don't like raw oysters. And the truth is, I've never actually tasted raw oysters. But there's just something about raw oysters. When I, when I look at them, I don't even want to taste it. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't look good to me. It doesn't look appetizing. It doesn't look like something I want to eat. So yeah, I'm not into raw oysters. But cooked oysters, I do eat. I've had, fr I've had fried oysters, and those are awesome. I had some fried oysters here in San Francisco, actually, and they were really good. Omar, hey, it's good to see you again. Omar from France, right? I think, Omar, you're from France. Salar, let's see. Um, Kurdish food varies. Good. Um, oh, come to your country. <laughs> I would love to visit that part of the world. I've never been to Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan. I've never been to that area. Um, I have a friend that's from Iran, a friend that I've had for years. She's from Iran, um, but I've never been there. So yes, one day I hope to visit that part of the world. And let's see, what other comments do we have? Ruben, have you ever tried? Oh, ceviche. Ruben, great question. I love ceviche. Ceviche is awesome. I have had ceviche um, in other places. I've been to Mexico and I've had ceviche there. I've been to Puerto Rico and I've had ceviche there. Even in the United States, there are, there are lots of restaurants where you can get ceviche and good ceviche. There are Peruvian restaurants or um, Latin American restaurants where they make really good ceviche. So yes, I've had that before and it's delicious. That's one of my favorite foods is ceviche. And let's see, who is this? Same, I knew it was Same. Okay, so you're a little bit late, that's okay. I didn't tell you what time we were having class today, so don't worry about it, Same. And there's no lesson today, Same. We're just having a chat about San Francisco. I'm telling you guys a little bit about my trip. Um, let's see, who else? Jimmy, raw oysters, exactly. And okay, Salar, sounds like you're good. Mohammed, hello. Mohammed from Sudan, it's good to see you. And it's 6.33 p.m. where you are now. Interesting. Where I am, it's 10.33 in the morning. So it's in the morning. And I haven't even had breakfast yet. So 
I'm going to wrap up this class soon. Wrap up. That means I'm going to end or I'm going to finish this class soon. All right. But it was really good to see you guys for 20 minutes and to hang out and to talk about my trip a little bit. I hope to do some more interesting things. So I'm going to try to go live one more time before the end of the week, maybe tomorrow or maybe Saturday. All right, so you guys can look out for that. Before class is over, please give this video a thumbs up or a heart, a smiley face, whatever you want. Give this video some love because you guys know that helps other English students to find these classes. All right, guys, so let me know if you have any more questions. I'll give you guys another minute. If you have any last questions, you can type them in. Thank you, thank you for the thumbs up, guys. But if we don't have any more questions, then I'm going to head to breakfast because I'm a little bit hungry. All right, let's see. All right, we got one more question here from Jimmy. Do you plan to go traveling to, oh, to other states in America or in the United States? Yeah, of course. I love to travel and I always like to visit new places. So when my husband told me he was coming to California, I've never been to California before, so I told him, yeah, I'm coming on that trip because I want to see California. Um, if my husband goes to another state that I've never been to or that I'd like to visit again, then I'll definitely go and I'll definitely show you guys some places when I travel, okay? So yes, I always try to travel, Jimmy. Um, sometimes I travel to other countries. Some of you guys who have been on this Facebook page for a long time know that sometimes I travel to other countries and then I get to really show you some interesting things. So yes, Jimmy, I like to travel a lot. And Salar, um, from Kurdistan, not like Iraq, not like Iraq, not like North. I live north of Iraq region, Kurdistan. Yes, okay. So Kurdistan, also in that area. Yes. So Salar, I was saying I've never been to any of the countries in that area. Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, any country in that area, I've never been there. All right. But hopefully... One day I'll get to visit because I love traveling to new places. All right, guys, I'm going to go now, but I hope you guys have a good day or a good night. Now, if you think of other questions that you'd like to ask me about this trip, you can still leave comments on this video, okay? This video will be on the Facebook page all day today. It'll be there tomorrow. So if you think of other questions, just put them in the comments so that I can answer them for you, okay? Jimmy, thank you. I will enjoy my meal. I think I'm going to try to get crepes for breakfast. Crepes. And I don't know if you guys know what crepes are. They're a French food. It's, um, it's kind of like a pancake, but it's very, very thin. And then a lot of times they'll put something inside, like fruit or... If it's for breakfast, maybe something like eggs or, you know, something like that. So that's what I'm going to try to get for breakfast today. And if it's really good, I'll take a picture and I'll show you guys. All right. So I'll see you all soon. Have a good day or a good night and look out for our next class. All right, guys.